Hi everybody, John here with another FinCast. We have a brand new 75 gallon aquarium, state of the art setup here today, and we are going to put this in it. Uh, we're the world's largest collector and supplier of marine organisms, marine specimens. So with the, with the mysis, you know, even if it's an animal that wouldn't normally um, eat them, like a harlequin tusk fish, they usually eat lots of meaty foods. They'll slurp it up like popcorn. They absolutely adore it. And it, some of my even larger fishes will go through and steal it from the small fishes just um, because it is a little bit like candy. For hardcore reef enthusiasts, this of course is blasphemy. But if you just want a pretty marine aquarium, a larger selection of potential fish and fewer headaches, there is something to this. So we started out with a 75 gallon reef ready aquarium set up with AI LED lighting and a custom stand and canopy made in Roanoke, Virginia and marketed by Carlin Aquarium Systems. The filtration is full reef with auto top off, protein skimmer and everything you'd expect for a full reef tank. So the folks at Instant Reef sent us these corals and they said, look, give it a try, put it in a tank, do a demonstration, tell us what you think. So they arrived in the mail and the first thing I noticed was how flexible they were. I thought this was going to be more of a, like a hard plastic, but it's more of a, uh, of a soft plastic, which I think will be cool for the fish. Uh, the other thing you notice as soon as you pick it up is that this thing is heavy. Uh, which is which is really uh, also kind of surprising and the company says that just like live rock it's very porous material so eventually it'll start functioning as live rock lots of spaces lots of crevices places for bacteria to grow and to uh, and to help with your breakdown of wastes in the aquarium so we've got three pieces this is the small one and we're going to put everything in this aquarium and with three pieces of this artificial reef it'll basically fill the tank and we want to see what it looks like, we want to see how the fish react to it, and we want to talk a little bit about perhaps some of the advantages of having artificial corals instead of real corals. From bare bottom tank, we added 40 pounds of aragonite marine substrate, smoothed it out, and we were ready to add the Instant Reef artificial coral, which we had soaked in fresh water per the directions from the company for two hours. Installation could not have been simpler. And of course the company offers many different configurations including corals that stack and those that are large enough to fill virtually any sized aquarium. The company suggests using live rock behind the artificial reef for additional biological filtration so we did that as well. Setup could not have been easier or quicker. We had pre-mixed our salt water and began adding it to the tank and we thought this might be a good time to discuss some of the pluses for taking the artificial route. I want to talk a little bit more about just the whole concept of using artificial coral and this is for reefers it's going to be a difficult pill to swallow but it does have some advantages. Ben Carlin of Carlin Aquarium Systems is here with me now so Ben we're doing this for the first time. You and I have a long history together of only doing reef tanks, taking kind of a lot of pride in that. But there are some advantages that we've been talking about to using the artificial coral. What do you see as some of the advantages? Yeah, well, you're absolutely right. My entire uh, aquarium hobby experience, I've always sort of been a reefing hobbyist or purist. Um, but I do think the, artificials, the artificial corals do pose some type of advantage. I think many aquarists kind of reach a crossroads in their aquarium um, growth where they are either going to take the venture into doing live corals and that is either going to spark their interest further and they're going to become true blue hobbyists. Uh, I think for others it can be quite discouraging. I mean keeping live corals is a very real challenge and I think a lot of people get pretty far along the way. They can invest a little bit of money in it and they find out pretty quickly that it doesn't just happen. You can't just throw money at an aquarium and have it work. So that's where I think artificial corals can be a fantastic alternative. I mean, we've had people poking their head in the office for the past several days. They just can't stop gazing at this. And you know, of course it, it pains me a little bit because it isn't live coral, but- well, And it didn't even have fish in it. It was dry. It was dry, absolutely dry. Yeah, we, did, we didn't have anything swimming around. People literally just amazed by kind of how great these things really do look just from across the room. So that's where I think they pose a, um, a great advantage for a lot of people. I think it gives you the advantage of being able to do a variety of different fish species that are not reef safe. Uh, so you can get a bunch of the different triggers, puffer fish, lionfish, a lot of things you can't do or you're restricted by having live corals. 
Yeah, and I think that's important. The other thing is, of course, uh, you don't have the expense for lighting because uh, you, you need decent lighting because you want your fish to look pretty, but you don't need lighting that'll grow corals. And so it saves a lot of the expense up front, and also you save some of the expense from live rock. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and of course, we are still using a, a portion of live rock and we can't underestimate the power of biological filtration and everything that live rock is doing. So for this particular display, what we've done is we've treated it for all intents and purposes as if it is a reef aquarium, um, with the exception of actually using artificial corals. So we're going to have this up and running for a few months. We can't wait to see how it does, what it look like, what it looks like, how it tracks, how it cycles, all the things that we're always looking for whenever we're setting up a new aquarium. Okay, and now from a maintenance standpoint, since you have a, a service company, or, or we do, um, this could be something that for the average person is perfectly appealing. It's very nice. If you put this in a restaurant, you put it in somebody's office, could be all they want, and it's a lot easier. Yeah, this from the maintenance standpoint, from our, our business's perspective, this is a, a phenomenal uh, option that that we're going to be presenting to clients, uh, especially because you know in a home aquarium you do have that hobbyist that's going and looking at their Stylophora every night to see if it's got growth tips on it. Um, but in a business, alternatively, you have people that are coming in looking at the tank with fresh eyes every day for the first time. Uh, so I think with that, you you really don't need all of the added reward that can come from a true uh, living reef aquarium in a public setting. Uh, so I do think from, from a maintenance standpoint, from our, our business's standpoint, this is a tremendous option. Now about two weeks later, the aquarium is crystal clear and the fish are swimming in the instant reef as if it were the real thing. It seems as if the larger, what I call marquee fish, like the yellow tangs and the butterfly fish show up best against the color of the artificial corals. Once the tank matures a bit more, we'll probably add a couple of non-reef safe fish from the butterfly family or maybe even a larger angelfish species just because we can without fear that they'll prey upon the corals that we typically have in our reef tanks. I should point out that the instant reef pieces are not cheap. The cost per pound is similar to live rock, if not a bit higher. For instance, a 20 pound stackable unit in the company's brochure sells for about $340, but we've already discussed the pros and cons there. You'll save some money down the road. But now with the tank set up, we can say for sure that the fish like it. We continue to get compliments from people passing by our office about how gorgeous it is, and even our hardcore reefing friends have to admit that it's much more engaging and attractive than perhaps they want to admit. I'll put the company's info for Instant Reef in the description down below. Please subscribe to FinCasters where there's a new aquarium video every Sunday, and I'll see you in the next FinCast.